Okay, so this is more for the new players and for any who have questions about runes and glyphs. So, as I boot up into my game, uh, at later levels, if you're brand new, you're not going to have this rune tower, but uh, you will get it as you continue to play. So, let's first explain what a rune is. A rune is the round medallions. That's a rune. And a rune will have modifications for your dragon or for your tower, depending on what you put it on. In this case, when I put the rare poison resist, uh, notice that it will increase Ballista resist by 1.7%. That may not sound like a bunch, but you can increase its strengths into expert mode. And you see that on dragons when they have those little itty bitty brightly colored little uh, nymphs that will fly along their wings uh, when they attack your base or whatever. So that's each rune will have these enhancements and you can make them experts and you can get those little pretty little birdies that fly with your dragons. So we're going to talk about what to put on them um, in a few minutes. So that the round ones are called runes. The uh, square ones are diamond ones. These. These are called glyphs. Now a glyph and a rune are slightly different, but they do the same thing. And we're going to look at a dragon and what you could do with a glyph and a rune and a tower. Where you, what you can put on your dragons. Will it work? Will it not? Will they stack? Will they not? So, first... There's going to be, there's five different runes. There's common, which is what you're seeing here. Well, that's a common glyph. There's rare. There's epic. There's legendary. And then there's mythic. There's a legendary there. And I think I, I do have a mythic in here too. Um, so, those are the five. The more you go up, the, more strong, the stronger they become. Common and rare, you could put on any dragon, any one of these, more than likely. Uh, that's your choice. But let's say I wanted to go to a rare lightning frenzy. This increases the lightning attack. Oh, that goes, that's going to go on a tower. But rare storm resist. This one, I could put on any dragon and it will work. So this increases my storm tower resist by 1.7%. If I increase that to expert, which I would do twice, um, and that would make it an expert, I would have a little bit more storm tower resist. Common and rare will work on any dragon. But if you go epic, legendary, and mythic, those have to be on very specific dragons that match the dragon's po uh, powers with that glyph or, or um, rune. So let's look at a dragon of mine. Let's move my little icon over there. Let's look at, oh, let's look at one of my favorites. I call him Boomer, but this is my Chimrack. He's got a rider, which riders also are kind of like a rune or a glyph. If you uh, get a rider and they're done through events, they will go ahead, look on the left side of my screen, my dragon attack is increased by 3.4%. Dragon HP and XP are both increased by 2.5% by Giovanni, I named him, which you can name your dragon and your rider anything you want. So the Chimrack I named Boomer because he makes things go boom. Go over here to the right, notice in the middle it says equip. So, let's look at that. I've gone nuts here because Boomer, one of my favorite things to put on something is to increase the rage. And the more rage that you have, the more powers that you have to destroy things. So you're going to see a few things here that are really different. So you see two, for the, the top two are runes. Notice that uh, somebody's attacking me. Go figure. They ain't going to get far. Uh, you want to see the attack? 
No, I can't. I missed it. So, legendary wisdom. That is, I got that on his line, and I increased that to expert. But notice here, with the legendary wisdom, which wisdom, what that does is increase its XP. So I'm going to get 11.3% more XP at everything that I attack with him. By the way, this guy's got like 13 million XP on him right now. So I'm saving up for a rainy day, which, by the way, today is a rainy day. Legendary Rage. Notice his rage generation on Legendary Wisdom was 3.9% at Expert. I increased it. In Legendary Rage, I increased it at 7.5%. Now, these two runes look the same, but they're not. Notice the middles. They're slightly different, and they're named differently. These stack. So just those two are going to give me more than 11% more Rage. So that's fantastic. Notice, too, my experience gain, too, is going to stack on here. That's going to give me 11.3 and 5.9. That's going to be, what, 17.2% just in those two runes. That is a great combination for Chimarack. But oh, I had some extra slots. So let's look at our glyphs. That's the uh, squares or diamonds or whatever you want to call them. Common cannon resist glyph. Now, I don't like cannons, because cannons pop bubbles. So, I'd ha I put a common amount on it. Normally, you wouldn't even waste a spot for a common, but I did. I, don't know. I just wanted a pretty bird flying next to him. That well, gives me a resist of 1.7%. But notice next to it is an epic reverse projectiles glyph. So, let's look at his strengths. So, did I waste that? <laughs> Probably. I did. <laughs> Remember, common and rare work. I kind of messed that one up. So, don't do what I just did. Or earlier, whenever I did it. Obviously, I didn't understand it. I put an epic. Remember, common and rare would have worked. But an epic, that one don't work. You want to match things that are on here. Notice the earthquake one? So, if I put an earthquake glyph on here... It'll work. But if he didn't have Earthquake, let's see if I did it, it wouldn't have worked. So I have a Mythic Earthquake Glyph on it. And notice that the Earthquake duration is increased. It may not seem like a lot, but that is a lot. Because you're flying constantly. And you're flying forward. So that 0.35 seconds, a third of a second, is a lot. As for, let's say you did what I did. Here, the Epic Reverse Projectiles Glyph. Ah, I, I see why I did it. Notice its second thing. Rage Generation. I ended up getting Rage Generation on it. So that 2.7 added to my Rage Generation up on my roots. So that's why I did it. And I knew I wasn't completely... Uh, but that's how you could make a dragon stronger by a rider and by runes and glyphs. This thing generates rage quickly. I can be zapped and paused and it'll just give it to me so fast. Let's look at another one that I have. Um, oh, well, let's look at Amarok. Amarok is not a divine dragon. Chimrock is. But Amarok, as soon as you can get it, I would tell you to get it. Because he's got a lot of resistance. Look at this. Amarok has explosive shields, cure power, poison, resist cannon towers, and resist archer towers. Those are fantastic. So let's look at what I've equipped him with. Not a lot. <laughs> That's because I don't have a whole lot of glyphs um, for him. But notice here. My epic explosive shield. He's got an explosive shield. Uh, my best rune was an epic. Um, so I increased it to um, expert. And its explosive shield increased to 8.1%, which is huge. Um, and this, the, that, that in itself makes a big difference. His explosion, when he detonates that shield, everything goes down. 
uh, rare poison resist. And he does have poison resist. Or now he does. He's got poison resist. But I really wanted the Ballista resist. Because Ballistas have just recently got a, a nerf on them. And now they're now they poison us. And uh, so now we want to, uh, you know, he's already got other resists on him. I just wanted to throw another one. And then uh, Rejuvenation Glyph. So, and that's a common one. Remember, common and rare work on everything. So, first thing you do when you pick a rune, look at the strengths of your, the potions on your dragon. And then match them with runes and glyphs. Also, you, you want to see what it's firing. Let's see, go over here. No, that's not it. What kind of weapon is it using? So this one... Where does it say? I know it says it someplace. Forgive me for a second. I'm going to find it for you. Equip, swap, trade. Let's equip. Where are you? Armor Rider. Yeah, that's not it. It's got to be in here. Oh well. This one actually, it shoots rocks, but in one of these screens it shows that it shoots fireball. And so, I equipped, um, I, I, I helped, oh, I thought I did on this one, but again, rage, most, most, uh, you know, most important. Wisdom, to level up your dragons, very important. Lightning resist, remember common and rare work, so I got lightning, which is a good one, and cannon is a good one to put on it. Where is that? Uh, and here's the bloody one. I call him Bloodhound, but this is Nickrix. And let's see. Oh, he's got Fireball. That's what it was. So, but he actually fires Fireballs. It looks like Blood Red, but it's Fireballs. And with him, I actually put an enhancement to make the Fireballs even more powerful. So I took an Epic and made it an Expert. Fireball damage is at 14.4% more. And Rage Regeneration goes up 2.7. Again, I, he's got a more powerful weapon, and he can use it more often with those two things. So, hopefully you understand. Common and rare with everything. Epic, Legendary, Mythic, with specific traits of each dragon. Now, when you build a base, <laughs> build strong not long do not take up this we always attack long bases so never take up this area never take up this area at most do what i did but uh, that would be the most i would tell you to do usually when you're starting out this one area here and this small island here that's what you stay with build it up extremely strong now these right here these towers this is where you put your runes and glyphs. This tower, the gr green area, is its area of influence. This one, its area of influence, etc. This one just keeps going around. And what we put here in glyphs and runes has everything to do with the towers that we put here. So what do we got? We've got... Archers, I've got lumber, I've got uh, food, I've got cannons, i got dark flak, and I've got a storm tower. So, let's see if I messed it up. I did good. <coughs> so, i got two archers. i got a legendary archer striker I made expert. 
And that archer tower, those two archer towers, has super shot damage at 25% more. Totally shocks people who come around in that corner and actually get hurt by archers. Always undervalued. But I only have two. I wouldn't suggest putting a lot of archers because they're not as effective as other things. Uh, also, the attack speed was increased on that particular room. Epic Storm Frenzy. Again, this epic made an expert. That's what the little crown means. So I've got increased attack speed and super shot damage by 9%. Rare healing striker glyph. This is an interesting one because if you, the lumber mill has a super shot heal, it heals everything around it. So if you actually tap on it and you actually use it for defense, this thing is a killer. And it will make, it'll help perform a lot more damage on those attacking dragons. Uh, the common cannon striker glyph. Again, shot super shot damage by 9%. I mean, I have cannons. And then, of course, another uh, sheep farm super shot heal, another one. Again, if I can get my towers to heal fast, they can, they can get more shots out. So those are fantastic. That's actually pretty decent. Now, this is what I call my sniper island. This is a meat island. Because right when they turn that corner, they're in range of just about everything. Do not put short-range stuff like this. Dark Flak is a short-range weapon. Do not that, put that in the very back. Because it's stupid. It's the most deadly weapon that you can have. And they can destroy it before it even gets a shot off. Always put them up front. Nope, I swapped it. don't want to do that. Not the good one there. Most powerful weapons on this small island. So, let's look at my tower there. Epic Cannon Frenzy. I have one cannon. I want it to pop their bubbles. So, that's why it's there. And I've got that thing. Um, a Cannon Frenzy and a Cannon Striker. They look the same, but they're different. They do stack. Uh, I have a Blue Maj Super Shot Damage. So, very important. you got to have Maj Towers. Uh, that disables those their powers. The rare cannon striker. Again, I have a cannon. I want it to pop their bubbles. It's only there. It's there and to inflict not only damage, but it's there to remove their defenses. And uh, another blue mage because blue is a very powerful. It 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 eliminates a lot of those uh, weapons that they have. So I've notice here I've got a very power very powerful for me anyway uh, towers. So modify your island all your towers with these uh, with the statues and with your runes and glyphs. Modify your dragons the same way. But remember common and rare on everything if you want look at the secondary things and when it comes to epic legendary and mythic they have to match the strengths of the dragon they just have to and you can stack them as long as they are different but if they were exactly the same they would not stack and you'd waste one of those um, in a slot you just think you got it but you didn't so i hope this helps you at modifying and strengthening your um, game. Have fun out there, guys. By the way, I am uh, in a uh, uh, fantastic team called Re Redemption for All. Uh, we have very few sp spots open. Uh, we're pretty much filled up, but if you have any questions, my particular name is Charger RT1969. And that, by the way, is the best car in the whole wide world. So, look forward to seeing you out there. Don't worry, you can hit my base if you want, uh, see what it's like, uh, and uh, leave some comments on it. Uh, if you find that I could do better, please just tell me, and vice versa. Have fun, guys. And gals.